For YouTube, how you guys doing? In this video, I'm just going to kind of give you a short update as to how I'm getting on with the MacBook Air 13 inch, which I of course purchased about two and a half months ago. Uh, it's quite amazing because per day I'm getting at least four to five questions on Twitter, four to five questions on YouTube, and about five to six questions through my website. And most of these people are like, you know, you should do a video on um, how to switch from PC to Mac and what the transition's like and, you know, anything you need to know, how easy it is, what applications they need. Uh, so it's fair to say most of the people who are at least emailing me are, are getting the MacBook Air are new users to the Mac. So I'm not too sure if you want me to do a segment on that entirely. Um, but I'm getting a lot of comments also as to give us an update as to how the MacBook Air is performing. Um, has anything changed? Um, your perception Has my perception changed after a few months, after a few weeks? Uh, and generally, I'm using it. Now, if you're watching this video for the first time uh, and you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, the MacBook Air is a beast, no doubt. And my videos that I've done on the gaming test, the video test, the Photoshop test, uh, that explains it all. Uh, there's nothing more to say on the speed and so on. But two and a half months on, how am I getting on? And that's what this video is about, and just a short update, I guess. So the MacBook Air, which I'm staring at just now, uh, is probably, hands down, the best MacBook that I've owned ever. And I've owned uh, the first generation Mini MacBook. I've owned two MacBook Pros. Um, but this one is, hands down, the best MacBook um, that I've come across. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one, the display on this thing is fantastic. Now, I know most of you are saying, well, you can get this display on the MacBook Pro as well. Fair enough, um, but you have to pay extra for it. You have to pay about 100, 150 pound extra just to get the matte display. Uh, I remember uh, when the MacBook Pro aluminum or aluminiums were released, you only had the option of the glossy screens, and there was uproar amongst the community, uh, especially those people in the photo and video editing, saying, you know, why did Apple not give you an option or put matte displays in the MacBook Pros? And I used to think to myself, you know, what is the big deal? It's just a screen. Um, so when I got the MacBook Air, I had the MacBook Pro as well, the glossy screen, and it was a nightmare going back to that screen. And then, only then could I understand uh, how big of a difference it is um, going from a glossy screen, such as the iMac or the MacBook Pros, uh, to a MacBook Air screen. The display is phenomenal. And recently, uh, Apple held their kind of financial results or financial call, uh, and they've They've hinted towards an investment of about $16 billion um, and a lot of rumours, a lot of speculation. Of course, this isn't confirmed. Uh, Tim Cook, who's taken over Steve Jobs for the time being, he said that he's um, spent $16.0 billion, $16. billion on a secret investment and most sites, most blogs, most you know news publications are saying he spent it on uh, displays. Uh, so that we'll probably see the same, no doubt we'll probably see the same displays for the next generation MacBooks uh, and the iPad 2 which is uh, you know, due to be released. So the display is a huge kind of bonus uh, or advantage of getting the MacBook Air. The second thing which I like about the MacBook Air is the flash storage. Um, this is amazing and I know some of you are saying well you could have got that on the MacBook Pro as well. Yes, I'm not, you know, I'm not disputing that but then again you've got to spend money on that. So what you're spending your MacBook Pro on, you know, not only are you spending more than a MacBook Air but you've got to fork out more for an SSD drive and they're not cheap. Uh, and the MacBook Air kind of gives you a standard custom. I know that we're probably going to see the same kind of um, storage types, flash storage in the next generation MacBooks. Steve Jobs did say this is the future of all kind of Macs in the future or notebooks in the future or computers in the future uh, and I can't see I can put money on it this kind of storage is definitely going to be in the upcoming Macs. And the third and final thing is the weight of the MacBook Air. It's kind of phenomenal. Um, before, if I had a MacBook Pro, but I had a MacBook Pro and I had an iPad, I would always go with the iPad if I'm on the couch. Uh, but now it's the other way around. I'm going for the MacBook Air simply because I know it's instant on, thanks to the flash storage, uh, and it's lightweight, so it's not going to kind of burn or be too much of a burden when I'm sitting on the couch. It's not going to be too much of a pain. Uh, and that was one of the issues with the MacBook Pros. It was just like... You were okay with the first few minutes, but because of the, it would take time to load the start up or boot up the machine, uh, and then sometimes it would like the, the app and the dock would be jumping up and down because of the traditional hard drives. So the combination of these three things make it the kind of perfect machine. You're not having to customize. You're not having to 
you know, fork out more money, you know, in this case hundreds of pounds just for a flash drive, a better display, it's just all, you know, it's just everything that you kind of ask for. And it's a shame about the processor, uh, which is what I'm going to talk about next. So what am I using my MacBook Air for? It's pretty much everything that I'm doing on the MacBook, the iMac, sorry, which is movie editing, emails, music, movies, YouTube, the full lot. Um, and every day I'm editing movies, so it's kind of like you're watching this video, this has gone through a whole editing procedure. So I rely uh, on you know YouTube a lot. I rely on videos a lot, and I do a lot of editing through iMovie, ScreenFlow. And um, so the quicker things get done, uh, and because I've got an iMac as well, I'm kind of spoilt by the processor speeds, and um, because that does it much, much, much faster. Um, and the MacBook Air isn't that fast. Uh, and there's one recent thing that was sent to by you know one of you guys on YouTube as one of these. Uh, so I'm going to test this out, and hopefully um, that is going to kind of make an improvement on the importing and exporting uh, in iMovie. So I'll probably end up doing a review on this, no doubt, in the next few days anyway. Uh, it's still sealed, by the way. It's been sealed for about a week. I've just not had time to do it. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, I wish they had, like, the Sandy Ridge processors. So if your business or your work relies on getting things on on time, especially when it comes to movies, photo, video editing, uh, then, yeah, you might want to consider getting uh, a MacBook Pro. Or, hell, uh, get a MacBook Air. You can use it for 30 days, and if you don't like it, or if it's not giving you the results that you need, uh, then you can obviously take it back to the store or return it and get your full money back, and then, you know, you can get a MacBook Pro. Hell, I would even suggest waiting for the next uh, MacBook or MacBook Pros, uh, which are due to be updated in the next few weeks. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope it's cleared some stuff up and, again, uh, probably the best MacBook purchase that I've ever made. And if you've got any more comments or if you're thinking about getting one, uh, then leave a comment below. I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 stars. And that one star would probably be down to the processors, but hey, um, nothing is perfect. And most of you who have commented and said what your needs are, um, I actually laugh sometimes. Uh, it's just crazy because most of the people are like, I'm going to be doing Twitter, Facebook, uni work, documents... Um, you know, YouTube videos, you know, watching YouTube videos uh, and the light, the occasional photo of family editing um, and the MacBook Airs are just way more than what you need um, and why you're waiting for the Sandy Bridge processors, I have kind of no idea um, but hey, uh, the MacBook Air is not going to disappoint and, uh, you know, definitely a thumbs up for me anyway but I hope uh, you guys like this video uh, I just thought I'd clear some stuff up and give you an update so if you have any more questions, leave in the comments below or fire off an email to me at iglassweegian at gmail.com worthwhile checking out iglassweegian.com and the previous MacBook Air series that I've done it might be uh, a hand for those of you who haven't already watched it but thanks for watching we Cheers. have a new sponsor here at iglassweegian looking to send a package at the lowest price possible Simple. Visit parcelmonkey.co.uk, follow these four simple steps, have the package collected from your doorstep and then sit back and relax.